All right, fall time's fun time. You know, top water is my favorite way to catch bass. There's a regimen I have that's pretty simple. I get on the bank or I fish out in open water. When we're fishing down a bank like this right here, grass, clear rock, doesn't matter, stumps, I like to throw a couple of different baits. So I'll start out if it's windy and a little chop on the water, I'll start out with a, a little noisier bait, you know, something like the River to Sea Whopper Flopper. It disperses a lot of water and a lot of sound. All right, this is a big plug. You think, man, how can you catch bass on such a big plug? You'd be amazed at the size of this 130 Whopper Plopper and the size of the fish it catches, big ones, small ones, all of them in between. But I'll go down a bank and I'll cover a lot of water throwing with the wind a Whopper Plopper. Another thing I like to throw, a single hook bait, is nothing more than your traditional buzz bait. And you can see here, I keep my colors pretty simple black and white. It's black and white. There's no gray in my arsenal, all right? The buzz bait is another. When there's a little riffle on the water, a buzz bait is another great, great tool to cover a lot of water and get some ferocious topwater strikes. If there's no ripple in the water, I like to go with real subtle, subtle bait. And that's a, that's a toad. You know, they make ribbits, they're loud. Zoom makes a horny toad. It's really subtle. There's other toad style baits, but this is one of my favorites. But I catch a lot of bass when it slicks off, covering a lot of water going down the bank, throwing at every target you can, they will come up and smash a toad on those slick, slick, calm mornings, okay? Now, let's say we're not on the lake, let's, or on the water close to the bank, but we're out offshore a little bit. And as you can see here, there's a lot of offshore trees out here, and those are sitting in deeper water. I'll get away from baits like these three. I'll never throw in open water. Never, ever, 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 not even, not even if there's a fire will I throw that out in open water. I throw more of a wake style bait, disperses a lot of water, looks like a wounded duck. I mean, how many of you have actually seen a wounded duck out swimming in the lake and something eat it? Me neither, never, not one single time. But the wake bait puts off a lot of water and it makes this trail that they just can't resist. They're just, they'll come up and eat that thing. So get out, get out in the open water, whether it's standing timber out there or just a long, long point, bass will be looking up most of the mornings. They'll be looking up, waiting for something to swim and break the surface. So a wake bait makes that disturbance in the water that gets their attention and attracts them. They really think it's a big old gizzard shad or something out there by themselves away from the pack and an easy target. Another bait that I throw out in open water is a rover. Okay, it's a walking style bait. Spooks, rovers, stuff like that. And again, this is walk the dog left to right, twitch, 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 and it's walking along. Great for open water. I see a lot of people throw it down the bank, but here's the deal. When I'm going down the bank, I'm going fast. This is way too slow for me. In open water, I'm gonna go slower. I'm gonna get their attention with a big, super long cast, left to right, walking. And that's what we'll call a big bass up out in open water. So don't mess with the first three baits I talked about in open water. You mess with this and a wake bait like the Cajun Wake from Lucky Strike.